Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. This is our medicinal chemistry lecture 11. Today we will discuss an important topic is drug design, discovery and development. So we will discuss these three topics in detail. So first of all, what is drug designing? So drug design can be obtained by obtaining information from previously reported drugs and their structures. We can also obtain information about commercially available drugs or we can select our compound by on the basis or by obtaining different structure from databases or libraries of drug. We can also design our drug with the help of computer which is called as computer aided drug design and we can obtain 2D or 3D ligand structure or we can design that structures with the help of different softwares and tools and then designing the synthetic scheme. So then we will design that how we can synthesize that kind of compound. Drug discovery and development drug discovery process we identify the hit compound which is our basic research we will discuss these topics in detail in our next slides lead identification which is hit to lead compound then lead optimization that is from lead to drug so these three steps are included in drug discovery process and then what is drug development process? Development process is preclinical testing or animal models. Preclinical testing is helpful in uh, obtaining the pharm uh, pharmacokinetic properties of the drug. Clinical testing which is obtained in three different phases, phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3. And these are the human trials. Then FDA application and approval. So we will discuss these three also in our last slides. So first of all, we should know what is computer aided drug design. With the help of computer are different softwares which are already uh, present in my lecture video which is computer aided drug design. So here is the link for that video in which we discuss all kind of softwares and tools which can be used for like ligand design and preparation. In this ligand design and preparation, we have to uh, make a 2D or 3D structure and we can obtain information by similarity search or databases which are present like drug bank, zinc database which are present online and available online. Then target prediction. There, there are different target prediction tools with the help of which we can predict our target for this ligand and uh, biochemical pathways and then 3D database homology modeling and we can predict active site with the help of these tools and in silico bioactivity analysis we can also uh, analyze the activity of that ligand after prediction the target with the help of molecular docking studies or virtual screening or MD simulation and QSAR prediction that is structure activity relationship finding. Then we can also perform in silico preclinical testing that is admit prediction our drug likeness and pharmacokinetics and physicochemical properties of the compound. So in this way, uh, in computer aided drug design, we can perform all these parameters during the drug discovery process and uh, we can use different kind of tools. So basic research or hit identification. For hit identification, we have to screen natural compounds for their biological activity. Then we isolate and purify that compound and then determine the structure of that compound which is active. 
We can also obtain heat by screening the library of synthetic compounds, which we can obtain from different synthetic uh, lab, uh, laboratories where synthetic compounds are available. Or we can, we can virtually screen libraries from different databases which are present online and we can retrieve their databases and we can perform molecular docking studies. So in this way, we can identify our heat compound. Then screening of natural products. Uh, screening of natural products means we can obtain compounds from plant sources, animal sources, microbial sources and marine sources. So these are different sources from where we can obtain our natural products. Then isolation and purification. For isolation and purification, most of the time chromatographic techniques are used, which are thin layer chromatography, which is the first step in isolation and purification. Then affinity chromatography, or we can use chromatography. size exclusion or gel filtration chromatography. We can also use flash column chromatography, high pressure liquid chromatography, which is HPLC. Or for proteins, we can use fast protein liquid chromatography, which is FPLC. And then partition chromatography for liquid liquid chromatographic separations. For structure determination, we use different spectroscopic techniques for structure determination. Like the first step in structure determination is UV visible spectroscopy. On the basis of lambda max, we can find by, by finding Woodward Pfizer rule. We can NMR and 2D NMR spectroscopy is important to identify the structure of the compound and then FTIR for functional group detection. Then mass spectrometry to analyze the mass and different fragments of the compound. And then X-ray diffraction analysis for final identification or structure determination. Lead identification and optimization. So for lead identification, we can uh, synthesize the structural analogs of the hit compound. Then we can also again we can uh, bio, we can uh, analyze the bioactivity of that analogs through in vitro studies, or we can then we can structure activity relationship finding, and then pharmacokinetics or admit studies. So during this process, we uh, obtain our, after this process, we obtain our lead. Is of analogs. A series of compounds which are slightly different from their original molecule are synthesized, which are called structural analogs of the hit compound. And uh, the structural analogs can be obtained by variation of the substituents like functional group attachment or the position of substituent we can vary extension of the structure by extending the tail or hydrophobic chain or cycle like here chain extension and contraction ring expansion or contraction like hexacyclic pentacyclic tetracyclic so we can uh, expand our contract ring and then isoester esters of the structure so these are the different techniques uh, through which we can uh, make structural analogs. Purpose of making analogs. The main purpose of making analog is optimization of our lead compound to increase activity, to reduce side effects, to obtain desired physicochemical properties, to obtain desired admit profile and to obtain drug-like properties. Structure activity relationship. The structure activity relationship is carried out to identify the active part of the molecule or finding the essential and non essential groups in our active compound. So we can obtain structure activity relationship by making a series of structural analogs and then finding their uh, study through lab, which is in vitro SAR or lab work, or through computer based or in silico SAR which is molecular docking. So <coughs> with the help of these we can obtain structure activity relationship. For molecular docking the link is available here which can be uh, in that video uh, we have discussed that what is molecular docking and how many different kind of softwares can be used for molecular docking. Then lead to drug. 
in this lead to drug process design a drug with a particular biological activity a lead compound is required lead compound is that compound which shows useful pharmaceutical activity but the level of activity may not be very great and there may be undesirable side effects so by altering the structure of lead by using different strategies we can obtain a drug may be developed with improved activity and reduced side effects this is the drug development process so we have discussed already that uh, we can perform basic research or hit identification through in vitro screening or in silico studies and also the early discovery of our lead compound then we can obtain different physicochemical or pharmacokinetic properties of our compound through in vivo testing or it can also be predicted through uh, different tools and computational means so in vivo testing is actually the animal testing or testing on animal models like monkeys or guinea pigs and uh, in this way we obtain different pharmacokinetic properties of our compounds and then in second phase the clinical testing occurs so in clinic before clinical testing we have to apply for clinical testing and we have to uh, uh, apply for ind application so ind application is forwarded to fda food and drug administration and after approval we can perform clinical testing clinical testing requires volunteers of women in initial phases or phase 1 we need 10 to 100 and then 100 to 1000 in next phases that is phase 2 or phase 3 clinical trial and after the data obtained from these test testing uh, we again apply for the approval and then FDA review that uh, data and then FDA approve and after approval of the FDA we can launch that drug in the market or industrial level preparation or commercialization of drug can be occur. Uh, what is the time required for during all this process? So it needs 10 to 15 years as a whole from early drug designing to uh, the drug into the market. So it requires 15 to 20 years. So in early drug discovery process, we need four to five years and uh, then three years in preclinical trials and then seven to 10 years will be uh, expend during clinical trials and then one year review and approval from the FDA. And uh, the when we perform drug discovery or hit identification, uh, there may be different number of molecules like 10,000 molecules will be tested and then uh, only 250 or 300 compounds will be passed from drug discovery to preclinical testing and then uh, 5 to 10 molecules will be entered in clinical trials and then only one compound will be a available new drug. So by reviewing this we can uh, guess that uh, how many compounds uh, will be synthesized or obtained from natural products and then after different phases of the drug development process we only obtain one drug as a uh, new drug or commercial drug which can be commercially available for a disease in our next video we will discuss in detail that how to design a drug by taking an example of a drug and then how to make structural analogs of that compound and then how to analyze structure activity relationship of that series of structural analogs and then how to find pharmacokinetics or admit properties of that compound or drug-like properties. So in this way we will discuss all these topics in detail by taking the examples and uh, thanks for watching my video if you like my video please comment share and subscribe my channel love is